live, or I am live at least. Um, thanks for joining me on my daily broadcast, getting closer and closer to that milestone tomorrow, in fact. And I'll get to that in a second. Before I get going, um, sort of straighten myself out a bit first. Um, if you're listening, that won't make a sound <laughs> difference to you if you're watching it, might. My name is Barry Zilby. I am a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And I do these talks every day called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And this is number 399. So tomorrow will be number 400. So right there at the final, at the cusp, at the penultimate broadcast of the next milestone, which is still blowing me away. But there's more content, so I'm gonna keep talking. Um, today's broadcast is actually a subsequent or a second, or no, that's what we're looking for. It's kind of a spin-off of yesterday. Because yesterday I was talking about independence regarding, because it was, yesterday was Independence Day. By the way, happy Independence Day yesterday. Hope you had a great time. Fireworks, food, friends, etc., etc. Um, I did everything like that except the fireworks because we were doing backyard ones and the um, <laughs> the, land, the neighbors didn't like it. So, anyway, that was yesterday. But in the conversation I said, shared in number 398 yesterday, I talked about how it just came through in the middle of the broadcast. I was talking about how you can be independent from your automatic pilot inside. And I advise you watching that broadcast after you watch this one to get a precursor to what I'm talking about today, <laughs> if that makes sense. And in the middle of the broadcast, or at the end of the broadcast, I had this idea and this download that I shared that I've now started doing myself today, which is the stop, think, choose phrase, which is in this title as well. And what I suggested yesterday to give you the cliff notes of this piece was a way of rewiring your thinking and changing the way your days unfold because as I said in yesterday's broadcast, again recap, um, if you wake up in the morning with your mind going over time, already running the day's itinerary ahead of you and having doubts, worries, fears and other stuff come up because you need to worry about getting coffee in your system, you don't want to go to the gym and you don't have to meditate and all these things you may run around your head, I strongly suggested you just get a piece of paper, which I did myself this morning, um, or your last night rather, put out a sheet by the bed or wherever you first open your eyes to and have three words on it. Stop. Sorry, this way around. This way around? Yeah. <laughs> stop. Think. Choose. Meaning that what you can do at the beginning of the day is stop and go, shut up in there. Like literally tell yourself to stop doing what it's doing. And then secondarily, think about what you want to do for the day. And really get clear about your intention for the day. And then third, choose into it. Because thinking about it is one thing. But choose into it to actually explore your day. So that was kind of the cliff notes of what I took about yesterday. So today, I added a PS, which is, now what? Um, because I did say yesterday that in the process of doing this, it will be between 25 and 35 days worth, if you do this every day, to change a habit, to basically change your paradigm. Because if you do this every day, it will start rewiring your circuitry. But as I've already proven to myself, the first day doesn't happen, usually. And it maybe did for you, if you did yesterday's homework. But if you didn't, first of all, have faith, bear with me, and I've got some suggestions. Because what I'm also aware of is during the day today, I've had that piece of paper close by um, with intention to think about what I put into my day. Exactly, that's kind of the focus. Yes, Barbara. Um, so I had that piece of paper in my so eye line today. So every so often I would stop, think, and then choose again. Because I'm realizing also why just do it at the beginning of the day. The original concept yesterday was just to say, let's start your day differently. Because if you're like most people, which probably, probably are, you actually spend the first few minutes of the day, not even aware of what you're focusing on for the day. I mean, you don't look at your calendar necessarily, unless you've got some big important meetings first thing in the morning, but you may be just in a place where you're running your automatic pilot, the auto tape, the automatic tapes I mentioned yesterday, which includes things, again, like, um, I wanna go back to sleep, I wanna hit the snooze button 10 more times, I uh, don't wanna get out of bed, uh, the day already sucks, I'll be glad when I go to sleep tonight, I don't care about anything in between, I mean, every excuse under the sun comes up. But if you stop, think, and choose, you can interrupt that that um, playback and choose differently, which is a big piece. Secondly, and this is what I'm talking about for today's broadcast, I don't wanna recap everything yesterday, but in today I wanna to mention there's another part of this because one thing is, as I said, that piece of paper was in my island so I kept it handy to see, you know, stop, think, choose as an activity that would catch me in the middle of some other stuff. So yes, start your day with this, this this will work again 25 35 days it takes because habit changing takes that about that time frame different studies and different teachers vary between 25 and 35 is the average 
amount of time it takes to do that reprogramming. But don't stop there. Because why not accelerate the process? Why not accelerate the pattern change, the habitual repetition another way too? Because I'm aware, because now I'm doing this myself, that today has not been a smooth flow necessarily. There's been great things happening during the day, but also those old tapes that started up in the first thing in the morning will show up again later in the day. Surprise, surprise. So if you're doing this, if you want to take this on, I do invite you to take this homework on as an exploration, as an experiment, is check back in with that sheet, that reminder in front of you every day. And also do it every couple of hours during the day. I'm not setting up a structure in this place, although maybe I will by near this broadcast. But um, I'm looking where the sheet is to sort of remind me again. What I'm suggesting is changing your mindset. And I didn't plan on becoming a mindset coach suddenly, but a lot of my work with my clients is to offer them a way of seeing things differently so they can see the world through a more positive and directional focus so they get what they want. This is kind of a spontaneous exercise I've provided yesterday and today which may help you get where you want to go. And the thing I want to focus on, truthfully, is that you have the power. And yes, using your um, first minute of the day to to specify what you want for the day is a great way to begin. However, or and, it doesn't hurt to check in and use that same idea mid-morning, lunchtime, mid-afternoon, when you get home, before you go to bed, all the way through. So I'm going to I'm giving you this as like a PS for yesterday's broadcast, for yesterday's teaching, to give you something else to work with, which is take the same idea, which can be again stop think, choose, those three words. Piece, by the way, if you didn't do it yesterday, here's the quick tip. Get a piece of paper, just out of a notepad, whatever you have, that you can put somewhere you can see it. And there's simply the three words. Stop. Um, sorry, I'm thinking of it. Yeah, stop. Make sure you do the right brain on the screen. <laughs> okay, stop, think, choose, those three words on a piece of paper and put it by your bedside table or up on a mirror, wherever you're gonna be looking first thing in the morning. I would recommend especially if you're an entrepreneur and you work from your home or you work for someplace where you're mobile, put it somewhere you can see it in an easy way. Maybe you stick it in your wallet or your purse so whenever you open it up, you look at that word, see the three words as a reminder. So those three words will be written right there and you can go, oh yeah, stop, think, choose, just for a moment. See, having this um, reminder, and it's, it doesn't cost you anything. <laughs> this is a freebie. If you want to go deeper, I can help you and that won't be a freebie, but that's another story. But if you just take this on, this simple exercise, and have this piece of paper and have it in a different form. So again, have a full size sheet of paper by your bed so you won't miss it in the morning. And do something with it, which means when you see that paper, read it and then stop and think and then choose for your day. Now add to that check-ins during the day. This is your now what, that's the next piece. Is to choose into that every, say a couple of hours maybe. If you wanna get really bold, if you wanna get really creative with this, you can set an, oh, for example, you can set an hourly chime in your phone or maybe in your watch. So at the top of the hour will be a reminder to do that again. Now this is for the um, zealous amongst you. <laughs> this is something that would work for you, go try this on. I'm not saying you have to do this, but I'm adding this as a recommendation as new homework. I think I've called it yesterday um, homework possibility assignment. So this is another possibility for you. So start with yesterday's homework first but add to it if you want to. And again, these are invitations because the reality is, if you don't do it, you don't do it. But if it changes your life, you might want to. That's a, that's, that's a subtle sales pitch, but they're not selling anything, this is free. Whoa, that was a firework. At least I hope it was a firework. Okay, let me, yeah, it's July 5th and there's still fireworks. Um, continuing along, <laughs> let's get slightly distracted. Have notepads, maybe post-its, or maybe, again, you have it in your phone. Maybe you have a note in your phone that comes up every hour as an, a reminder to the top of the hour, suggestion again, or every meal time, or halfway between meal times. Set up however you want to do this. But have the same thing, the same thing, which is, which is stop, think, choose, as your, not so much a mantra, but your inquiry. This is intended to be a methodology for you to inquire within, as in inside, and to really get clear about what you want. The main reason I'm doing this is not necessarily to get a very clear vision of where you're going. So by the way, there's a little subtlety in this. Even though I'm saying you want to focus on where you're going and have some clarity and then choosing into it, but what it really is doing is stopping the automatic tapes. 
what I'm inviting you to actually take on, and again, it may take you 25 to 35 days, to actually have a shift in the wiring inside so that you're no longer running automatic tapes. Because some of you have been running the same routine for the last 10, 20, 30 years, and you haven't been able to stop it. This might help you. Because what you're really doing is stopping the automatic tape, hitting the pause button for a second, thinking about what you really want instead of what's coming up automatically without you even thinking about it, and then choosing that versus the automatic response. So this practice, this assignment, this um, opportunity can change the way your life goes. Again, this isn't, as I said yesterday, this is not a relationship-centric piece, although it can help in that area too. This is basically for the way your life goes. So it can be thinking about your health, about food you're gonna eat that day. It could be about the vision for your business. It could be so many different things. So try this on and simply have a note card or post-its through the day as well as your big, the big sheet that you use at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day. So now giving you a next level of your homework. This is the now what, a next level of homework. So stop, think, choose to change your life. Simple practice, effortless as well. I've invited the people yesterday, I'll invite you as well today if you're watching this one, to check in with me. If you have questions about it, reach out to me. But if you just want to check in with me as the weeks go by, the next, what, five weeks or 35 days, and let me know how it goes. This, this is an opportunity to transform your life, and you get to do it all yourself. Now, one little PS. Um, as I'm very aware of, because I work with a coach, if you get stuck with this and you want to get help along the way, which is somebody maybe to hold your hand or just to remind you or just to nudge you in the right direction, I've been known to do that with my clients. So if you want help in the area, you can get help from me as well, and I'll tell you about how to get there in a second. But you don't need to necessarily do that. You can just go ahead and just do this process for yourself and practice with this. Do it for yourself for a week, see what happens. Let me know how it goes. Um, if you have questions or comments about this, that, you can put them in the comments in this broadcast. I'll answer when I sign off. Um, and if you want to get help, here's how you can find out. Now, I, again, I mostly work with, with, with women looking for helping their love and relationships, but this piece can help them and you as well. So whether you're in a relationship or not, whether you're a male or female, and you want help in this area of mental clarity and guidance and focus, I can help you with this and a few other things besides. If you go to my website, which is my name, barryselby.com, and click on the Let's Chat button, which is on the left-hand side of the, of the menu navigate, the navigation menu, and you sign up for the discovery session there, it slants it towards relationships, but put in the comments about this particular practice, and we can talk further. Um, if you haven't seen my other broadcast, by the way, this is number 399. Yes, tomorrow's gonna be 400. Um, this and all 398 broadcasts are on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author, as well as on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, and the, play and the playlist is message Messages from the Masculine. And slowly but surely, they're also going on my podcast, which I launched a couple of days ago, which is, um, Messages from the Masculine on iTunes, and you find it there. If you have any questions about this broadcast, please put them below. Um, my website, again, is barrysilvey.com, where you can find out about my coaching, my book, my other work, and if this helps you, I'd love to hear from you as well. Um, so you've got homework from yesterday and today. If you didn't watch yesterday's broadcast, I invite you to go watch that one to get the precursor to this, because that makes more sense, I think. And uh, try to emphasize, it might just change your life, because I'm about helping you change your life, by the way. With that, thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me as always. I'll see you again tomorrow for more um, inspiration, enlightenment, and entertainment. Not necessarily in that order. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.